Hello friends, so today's video is super, super exciting. I cannot wait to get into it because it's a bye-bye baby haul. Like you guys know, I love hauls and baby products. I love even more right now. Like I am so excited that I'm finally shopping for baby girl number two. I'm finally in that nesting mode where I'm like, okay, I need to get this, I need to get that, I need to get prepared. So in this haul, it's basically like my newborn must-haves. I did a lot of repurchase of my must-have items that I'm gonna be talking with you guys about. I'm also gonna share a few of my other must-have items that we already have that I highly recommend to any first-time moms. So before we get into this video, I wanna say a big thank you to Bye Bye Baby for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to be working with them again. I got Got to work with them last year and I'm so pumped to work with them again. They are awesome to work with. I love their store. They are the one-stop shop place to get everything that you need, which is awesome. You can get stuff from diapers, strollers, monitors, clothing, and then to nursery furniture, which is great. Riley's whole room is all Bye Bye Baby. Like all her furniture in there is from Bye Bye Baby and I absolutely love it. They even have like a whole style quiz that you can do. You can work with their design squad. Like say if you're dealing with a smaller space and you're like trying to figure out, okay, like what do I actually need in here? How can I get everything to fit that I need? They can work with you on all of that and then also give you some great like little tips and decorating ideas. So I highly recommend using that. One of my biggest like advice that I give to everyone, if you are buying a crib, make sure to get one that is a three in one crib. So with Riley's crib, it goes from a crib a toddler bed to a full bed which is amazing so they can have it all the way to college like which is awesome so also you want to make sure you get that conversion kit right when you buy the crib just in case if anything gets discontinued so that's what we did we bought everything at once and we just stored it and then now she's in a toddler bed pretty soon she'll be in a full bed which is gonna make me so sad and we will definitely be doing the same thing for baby girl number two once we move and get an extra room I'll definitely take you guys along that journey about picking out her nursery furniture and how I decorate and all that fun stuff stuff but again highly recommend bye bye baby I will have everything linked down below for you guys so everything will be listed there if you're wanting to pick anything up get a closer look at anything definitely check it out all the links are down below thank you so much bye bye baby for sponsoring this video and let's go ahead and get on and do it all right so to share a quick little tip with you guys is I actually made a baby registry I know it's my second baby girl I do have a lot of stuff from Riley which I'm going to share with you guys that is like a must-have if you're a first-time mom that I didn't have to repurchase this time around but you want to make a baby registry for every baby. And the reason why is because Bye Bye Baby is awesome, is they actually give you a 15% off entire purchase coupon. So if everything that you didn't get on your registry, you can get a 15% off coupon. They give so many coupons, you guys. So definitely download the app. I have the app on my phone. I've had it since I was pregnant with Riley. I get so many coupons each month, which is great. And I just kind of use them on big items when I have to purchase them and they save me so much money and that's another great thing about bye bye baby is that they have such a wide variety of brands so they have stuff for every budget which is great so you're definitely going to find something that you need there anyways let's go ahead and get into the products that i repurchase and that are a must-have the first one that i'm going to talk about here is actually the baby shisher i have talked about this so many times on my channel this thing is a miracle worker i'm not even kidding i give this to everyone for every baby shower, any friend that's having a baby that I know, I gift this to them now. I was actually gifted two of these, one at my gender reveal and one at my baby shower. I had no idea what it was. It's just amazing. You will notice that every newborn photographer has this little gadget. It just makes a little shh sound and it really, really calms them. I completely forgot that we had it with Riley in the very beginning and then I had Joel watching her while I was filming one day and I saw it next to him and he's like, this thing is amazing. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So ours actually finally broke because we used it so much. You guys, we use this thing for like legit a full year. It's awesome. So ours finally broke. So I repurchased another one, but this is a must have. And then also another great little baby gift for if you're buying for someone else. I always get questions asked about that, like what you should get someone for a baby shower and whatnot that should be at the top of your list. Okay, so sticking with sound machines here, you guys. This one is the Hatch Rest Plus. This is a definite must have for every single baby. So I have the regular one for Riley. I don't think they had the plus out when I first bought it for her. 
And I saw this one at Bye Bye Baby and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get this one for her. So this one is just gonna go on my nightstand because she's gonna be with us in our room for the first like three to five months, just like Riley was. And I am so excited because this thing has so many more options than the first one. So it's a sound machine, it's a nightlight, it's a time to rise and also an audio baby monitor like wow like there's like everything in this thing which is awesome but the reason why i really love this for riley is that you can change the colors to different colors you can change for different sounds and you can do it all from your phone which is great because there's times where i like i have it like a little loud and i was like oh it's a little loud i can like really hear this so i was like oh, i want to turn it down a little bit but you don't want to go into their room and have to turn it down and accidentally wake them up which is great because you just have the app on your phone and you just go and you can change it. You can adjust the brightness, you can change the sound, you can change the color, you can do so much with it, which is awesome. So I highly recommend this. It's also a great way to kind of start sleep training them because you can condition them to where if they hear this one song each time before bedtime, they know, okay, it's ready to go to bed. Like I'm ready to go to bed. So, and that's what I did with Riley without even realizing what I was doing, which is funny. It's crazy because music is such a great way to easily transition a child into the next step of their routine or the next step of their schedule. And I used to do this as a teacher all the time and I didn't realize that I was doing it with Riley and I'm wondering if that's what made her such a good sleeper, just get ready to go down to sleep because she would hear that sound. It was part of her little routine and she just did, she just did amazing. So. Highly recommend this, it's a must have. Okay, for another repurchase item, it is the Spectra Premium Accessory Kit right here. So I love the fact that they sell these little kits because you should be changing your breast pump parts every so many months throughout your breastfeeding journey. You have to change them frequently because it will allow you to get more suction and allow you to get more milk. So I love the fact that you can just get this whole little kit and you can have everything to replace the parts. My favorite pump, hands down, is the Spectra S1. It is the blue one. So there's a pink one and there's a blue one. I had the pink one first and then we got the blue one. The blue one's awesome because it is battery operated. So you don't have to be plugged and stuck to a wall. You can legit put this pump in a backpack, in a bag, and you can pump and do and multitask. So if you have a toddler or multiple kids, you have to be able to multitask. So I love the fact of that, and it's a hospital grade pump, so you're gonna get the most milk that you could possibly get from that, which is awesome. Cause there's a lot of pumps out there that you just like kind of put in your bra. Those are not hospital grade pumps and you're not gonna get the most milk from them. I think they're a great little thing to have, like if you're like in a bind, you're just like in the car, you just need something small and just quickly pump. But for a pump to use on a regular basis, definitely recommend the Spectre S1. So definitely check that out. And then I love the fact that they have little kits that you can just repurchase and replace those parts. All right, so these next things right here are actually things I also get for every, every first time mom because a lot of them don't know these products. I did not know these products until I got them from Joel's cousins who have multiple kids and they're like, you will love this, this is a must have. So. This is great. I love the fact that Bye Bye Baby actually sells this little set right here. Mommy's Bliss is one of my favorite brands. And they have a gripe water, vitamin D drops, gas relief, and insanely drops, and spray for the nose. So you can get this whole little set right here all together for a great price. Highly recommend it. So gripe water is great. I believe you can start using it two weeks after birth and it really helps soothe their tummy because they're gonna have a little bit of tummy problems till about three, four months. And that's the, that's the hard part. I have to say like the first three, four months are like the roughest months because of those tummy problems. So the gripe water really helps soothe those and then doing some bicycle kicks with them. So love the gripe water. Riley loved it. I was watching her get so excited when she would see the syringe coming to her mouth. It should be like this, like so, so pumped for it. But yeah, it really helped calm her stomach and help us get through those nights where she would be a little bit more fussier. Another great thing is the vitamin D drops in here. So a lot of people don't realize that when you're breastfeeding that you don't have vitamin D in your breast milk like you do in formula. So you want them to get those vitamin D drops. And so you wanna put those either on your nipple when you're nursing, or you could put it on a passy for them, or you could drop it in their mouth, whatever you wanna do. But you wanna do vitamin D drops every single day. That will also really help their tummy. The next thing in here is the gas relief drops, which again, great for to help with those gassy tummies because it, it makes them very uncomfortable and very fussy. Then we also have the saline drops and the spray, which is great for them. So you just put that into their nose, let that sit for a second, and then you'll go in with the Frida nose. Frida, this is a little snot.
snot sucker. You also will get those little ones from um, the hospital too, but they're kind of abrasive. So if you want something more gentle for their nose, which is what a lot of people recommend, go with the Nose Frida. This one you just kind of suck and gets all those boogers out, which is great. That You do that so much in the beginning. <laughs> Another thing that I added in here, which I kind of wish that they would have done the vitamin D drops that are also probiotic drops in one. So it's like a two in one product, but they didn't do that. So I went ahead and bought this one separately. This is the baby probiotic drop. So this is another thing that you want to be doing when you're nursing or even just formula feeding, whatever, because these probiotic drops will also really help their bellies. Again, if you're a first time mom I'm preparing you, they get very fussy about those bellies being just kind of gassy and colicky it's very normal and they kind of get out of it between the first three or four months but these products will kind of help ease you through it and kind of get you through those times that's why i love mommy's bliss okay so next up is the haka here and i did not use this the first time around my sister used it i told her about it i was like you should try this out she did it my sister was breastfeeding till caspi was i think she just stopped breastfeeding and he's like 16 months. I think she just finally cut out her last feed. So she had a lot better of a breastfeeding experience than I did. <laughs> Cassie was a very good nurser. And my sister raved about the Hakka. So I was like, oh sweet, okay, I'll go ahead and pick this up and do it. So basically what you do is you put it on one side and you nurse the baby on the other side and it's gonna help catch all that spilled milk that comes out. And you'll be amazed of how much milk you'll actually catch. And it's like, okay, yay, because you know, the milk is like legit liquid gold. So you just, you wanna save every last drop that you possibly can, and you can save it in this little guy. This is definitely a breastfeeding must have, and I love the fact that this one also comes with the silicone cap to it. Okay, so sticking with feeding, going into some bottles. So babies are very, very picky, you guys. I always recommend if it's your first time mom or whatnot, just get a little bit of different types of bottles, like one here, one there, of different brands kind of see what they take to and then get more of those I know with Riley she was very picky in the beginning the best bottles that actually just worked for us were truly the Avent ones these worked amazing for us they worked great for Caspi they worked great for Hunter so like my nephews um, they're all little Avent babies so anyways I picked up another set of these I did receive some from Avent already that I showed you guys they sent me the bigger ones right here and then also a couple of the smaller ones but I wanted to get just one more set of the smaller ones and this one is a little pink edition, which I love, but you wanna make sure you are using the smaller bottles because they're gonna have a slower flow nipple in the beginning because you don't want the baby to be taking milk too fast. The bigger the bottle, usually the faster the flow will be, and that can also cause them to get really gassy and really fussy. So you wanna make sure you are using a slow flow, slow flow nipple in the very beginning, and yeah. Abbott ones have been amazing for us. So I went ahead and picked up a little set of those. And then these are the bigger size that I wanted to show you guys. So these ones you'll use a little bit later down the line. But the little ones are awesome and I just love them. She just, she latched on them so great. I'm hoping that baby girl number two latches on to them great too. That's one thing that's gonna be interesting to see if we're gonna get another tongue-tied baby. Another big recommendation for first time moms is when you are in the hospital and you deliver your baby, have the nurses and then also the pediatrician check to see if there is a tongue tie or a lip tie. You wanna know about that as soon as possible because it can really impact your breastfeeding experience. All right, so some more Avent products are pacifiers. So again, my baby has such a huge variety of different brands, but Riley was so picky with her passy so picky. The beginning, she would not take MAM, she would not take anything, but the Avent Ultra Airflow, which are these ones right here, these guys. So she would only take these ones, and I think around five months is when she finally took the Wubba Nub and she got like hooked on the Wubba Nub. But these were the only passies that she took for the longest time. So I highly recommend getting a set of these on hand. And I love the Ultra Airs because it gives them like a little bit more space for their nose. This is the 16 to 18 month. You also want to make sure you're getting them the right passy for their age. And then these are the Soothies right here, which are usually at the end of the Wubba Nubs right there. So I of course had to get, 
another Wubbinub for baby girl number two. So this is the unicorn one. Riley had one too. <laughs> and I've been hiding this. So I'm probably going to have to rehide this again. Um, because if Riley sees it, she's going to open it up and she's going to immediately take it. With Riley, uh, we had a pretty easy experience with her not having the passy. We kind of, a lot of people ask me, how did we do that? Honestly, with her school, they never gave it to her during nap time, so that weaned her off there. And then I told her that we had to give the passy to baby sister, and that was it. No fuss, but if she sees a passy, she wants it. So I know she's going to regress, so that's gonna be a fun one. Not looking forward to that experience, but Avent passies are the best, so I got my assortment there. I also almost forgot to show you that Avent also has an anti-colic one too that has a little bit of a different nipple here. So I would definitely recommend picking up one of like a small set of those. All right, so now moving on to a quick little postpartum product that is a must have. So hospitals will give you a peri bottle to use. So once you deliver and everything, you can't really like wipe or use a lot of pressure down there. So basically they'll give you a little peri bottle, you'll fill it up with water and you'll use that to kind of help clean yourself off. And then you'll kind of just dab very lightly. Well. Peri bottles are great that you get from the hospital, but this one is a must have. I bought this one the first time around. I gave it to my sister and I don't know if I'm gonna get it back from her. I don't know if she still has it. So I went ahead and got another one because I, I can't live without it. It's awesome. I love the fact that the spout like turns up so it makes it a little bit easier and it's just a must have. So for postpartum wise, Pick this up. They even have a great postpartum kit that you can get from Freedom Mom. Like Freedom Mom is such an awesome brand that I highly recommend, but this one is a must have for postpartum. So definitely had to repurchase that. For another breastfeeding must have here is the Lansano breast milk storage bags. These ones are great. You just pump and put it in here and you can store it in the freezer, you can store it in the fridge and it's they're awesome. So you definitely want to start building up your supply pretty early on, especially if you're planning on going back to work and just to have like that backup so you can start pumping. So make sure you always pump after a feed, not before a feed. So basically if you nurse, okay, get done nursing, wait a little bit and then pump again. It also really helps you establish your milk supply too. And then also remember that if you are giving a bottle, let's say one of your feed times that your little one always eats at 10 a.m. So if she's always eating at 10 a.m. and you give her a bottle during that time, you need to make sure you are pumping at that same time. So even though you're giving them bottle, you still have to make sure you are pumping because breastfeeding is all about supply and demand. And if you don't demand it, it won't supply it. <laughs> Anyways, getting into diapers. So these are my favorite newborn diapers right here. These are the Pampers Pure Protection. So I got two packs of these. I have a couple more packs that are actually coming into the mail right now. They're being delivered from Bye Bye Baby. Um, they'll be here actually today. So I'm wondering if the guy is gonna come and deliver <laughs> while I'm filming this. I'm filming it in Riley's playroom right now downstairs. So I'm definitely gonna see him come, but I've got two more big boxes coming. Definitely store up on those diapers because when they're a newborn, you are constantly changing diapers. They go through what, like eight to 12 diapers or more a day. It's insane how many diapers they go through a day. So you definitely wanna be stocked up. Make sure you get a couple newborn, make sure you get a couple size one. Um, a lot of people say, don't get too many newborn. I totally agree, but make sure you at least have something because I didn't think my little one was gonna be a newborn for very long. I thought she'd be a newborn for like maybe like a week or two. She was a newborn for a month and a half. So yeah, I, I learned on that one. So, and I have a feeling this little girl is gonna be about the same size. All right, so I just had to readjust real quick because my legs were falling asleep, but I picked up some more Ubi plastic bags. So these are the trash bags for her diaper pill upstairs. This is actually my first time repurchasing these, you guys. I was gifted so many of them that we still aren't even out of them. I think we have like three rolls left upstairs, but we decided just to get one more pack just to have a backup. And this legit, this will probably last us until baby girl number two is done with diapers. I'm pretty sure like with what we have upstairs already, yeah. I don't think we're ever gonna have to repurchase those, but um, we have the Genie downstairs and the Ubi upstairs. If you guys are curious about which one I recommend, I actually recommend the Genie. I like the Genie better. And it's because it's so much easier to change. You don't get that woof of like diaper pail smell to you because when you change the Ubi, you have to take the lid off and then everything just comes out. The Diaper Genie is already kind of like sealed and you just tie a knot and boom, you're good to go. And you just pull down and there's your other diaper bag. So. I definitely recommend the Genie over the Ubi. I got the Ubi upstairs 
Um, well, one, because I didn't really know any better, and then two, because I really wanted a pink one for her nursery, and the genie did not have a pink one. So, yeah, that's why I have the Ubi upstairs, but hey, it's lasted us for, <laughs> these bags have lasted for us for a really long time. Okay, so next up is a new product that I cannot wait to try out. So, first off, the first one that I got was from my baby shower, and it is the Baby Brezza Bottle Sterilizer. Love that thing. That thing is so awesome. You can sterilize pacifiers, sterilize bottles, sterilize your breast pump parts, like everything in it. It made it through me for with Riley for the first year. It made it for my sister. My, fist, my sister just now says, she goes, Madison, she goes, I'll probably buy you a new one because it's not really working very well anymore because I, it's gone through a lot, you guys. It's, this thing has been kicking for like, over two years now. So I went ahead and got another one, but I saw that they came out with a new one. So this is the Baby Brezza One Step Sterilizer Advanced. So this one is even bigger. I watched a bunch of videos on it and it looks really awesome. And I love the fact that you can fit so much more in here. And they have like different like levels that you can like kind of take off. So if you want to just do your breast pump parts, you can do those really quickly there. But just the way that they designed it with the different trays and everything, I'm blown away. And these are a must have, like let me tell you, because you always want to be sterilizing your breast parts at least once a day, because it, you don't want that milk to build up in them. And then also with the passies and the bottles and stuff, you can even just use it as a dryer too. Like say if you wanted to wash things really quickly in the sink, throw these in there and also just, you can just dry them or you can sterilize and dry. Like if there, it's just such a must have and you will absolutely love it. So I definitely say check this out. I saw so many good reviews on it. I saw so many awesome videos on it that I um, watched and I am just so, so excited to have the bigger one, but you guys can see like, these are all the different types of ways that you can do it. So you can have it like the bigger and you can take off a level, take off a level, take off a level. So I'm so pumped for this thing. I'm so excited. All right, so another must have is the Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter. This is a repurchase. I had this the first time around when I had Riley. My sister had this too. She said she loved it as well. It's just a great nipple butter. You guys are gonna want that because when they don't latch properly, oh my goodness. Well, first, in the beginning, it's they're a little tender, and if they're cracking and really hurting, that means they're not getting a proper latch, so you wanna make sure they're getting the right latch, but just to help with that tenderness, and like even if you do get a bad latch and then they crack you, the stuff will will help you, it will really help you. And I really like it because it was it's easy to put on, it's not like super thick. I've tried other brands where they'll be like super thick and you can barely like put it on and it's like not even really dispersing. So this one is my favorite, I love it. So check that one out. All right, so next up is the Deluxe My Breast Friend Pillow. So this is what it looks like. If you are going between the Boppy Nursing Pillow or this one, get this one. So I remember when I was doing my research the first time around, I saw a couple reviews saying that this was so hard and that the baby didn't like it. So that's why I didn't get it and I went the boppy route. But the boppy sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. The boppy nursing pillow, I love it for tummy time and stuff and little other things that you could do with it, but not for nursing because it's rounded and she kept, she was so little, like Riley was tiny as a newborn she would fall into the crease, so I couldn't even really use it. I ended up using a decorative pillow off of my bed that worked better. And my sister, when she got pregnant, I told her, I was like, try this one out because I go, a lot, I read some reviews that people didn't like it, but then I also like saw some later on from other friends that were pregnant around the same time I was that were raving about it. So I was like, God, I wish I would've got that one instead. So she got it. And she's like, oh my God, this one is so much better. She hated the boppy too. She's like, they just fall down in that little crease. There's like not enough support. This one, she took everywhere with her. Like legit, she would take it with her to my parents' house when she would go over there. She, would, she it literally followed her all over the house. Like, so I'm hoping that this will work out very well for us. It will be with us at the hospital. Um, that's definitely something you wanna do if you're planning on breastfeeding bring your nursing pillow with you to the hospital so that way you can nurse some with it while you're there because you'll probably, if you're a first time mom, you'll probably be there for about two to three days. If you have a C-section, you'll probably be there longer. Um, I have a feeling for us, we're probably gonna be in the hospital for another like three days again because of my blood type and Joel's blood type. So 
they kind of combat one of a one one another and it causes jaundice so riley got jaundice so that's why we stayed well we were going to stay there for the full days anyways because i think you should if you are expecting your for your first time because the nurses really help you but um if it's your second time you're kind of like oh i already know what to expect i already know what to do i can leave but with us i have a feeling we're going to be stuck there because she's probably going to be on a light if she ends up getting joel's blood type just like Riley did, then she will definitely have jaundice. So we'll have to go through that again. But um, yeah, definitely recommend bringing that nursing pillow with you. All right, so two bottle washing products that I love. I love the Dapple Baby bottle soap washer. This thing is awesome. This one was my favorite out of all of them that I've tried. And then also the bottle brushes. I love the Oxitot. Oxitot is one of my favorite brands. I love it in Bye Bye Baby because they have legit like a whole section of Oxitot and it's all together and I'm just like, oh, this is heaven for me. Because Oxitot is legit one of my favorite brands for babies. And they, I love this little stand that it has because it catches that water right there so it doesn't go all over your sink. But I had to repurchase this and I'm probably gonna open it up right after this haul because I need to replace the one that's in my sink right now. I still use them to this day. They're great to even wash like the sippy cups and everything or even just your cups too. So I've been using those, so we have that. All right, so next up is another repurchase that I've repurchased so many times. And this is the Honest Shampoo Body Wash and the Face Body Lotion. I love these, these are great. You just have the shampoo and the body wash. It's like a two-in-one product. And then I believe with the lotion, you don't introduce it until after the first month because their skin is so sensitive. So you don't wanna do lotion too soon. You wanna wait a while. But I also use the lotion on Riley. So every single time she gets a bath, I give her lotion. She's in this new thing where she has to rub it in now. So I give her a little bit and then I do a little bit. But yeah, that's like my favorite lotion. All right, so next up I purchased two packs of water wipes right here. I love these, they are great for newborns. They have very simple ingredients in them, so they're great because again, newborn skin, they are so sensitive. I love how saturated the wipes are, so they're like really saturated, so they make it easy to clean. They're big, they're thick, they just work so well, so definitely recommend those for the newborns. And then for detergent, I just got Dreft. I use this for Riley, it worked out well. I have to wash everything. I have a bunch of Riley's clothes that I need to rewash just to make sure they're all clean and ready to go for baby girl number two. So yeah, I use Dreft and then until they get like into that crawling stage and they get a little bit more messier, then I kind of change out of it, but it's great for the newborn stage. And then these diapers here, which I forgot to show you guys, these are the size one, these are the pure protection. So it's the same one as this guy, but these are newborns. These ones are size one. So we are stuck there. <sighs> Gotta stock up on diapers. Next up, this is a fun little one that I got myself because I saw it and I love the way that it looked. I love the fact that it was more structured. So this is from Itsy Ritzy. It's their stroller organizer. And I just thought it was so cute, you guys. I was like, dang, I wish I found this thing earlier. Honestly, strollers don't come with anything like this anymore. So you definitely want one of these every single time you like get a, a stroller. So, and the one that I have is so flimsy. So I really like this one. I like the way that it looked. So I went ahead and picked up that. All right, so I wanted to replace the mirror that I had for Riley because it wasn't my favorite. It really slid around a lot. So I got this Britex one. And the reason why I like this one is actually strapped four different ways or like the the two different ways it went like around that way and then that yeah so it's just a lot more secure so I thought I would like this one a lot better because her other one just kept moving around and I just didn't like it so I got that I don't use a mirror for Riley anymore because now she's frontward facing but that one I'm hoping will work out great for baby girl number two all right so next one is I purchased three of these you guys so I already have one. I've had it from the very beginning with Riley. And then Joel was like, I really want to for my car too to help protect the seats uh, because it's really done wonders. So it actually comes in three different colors, but it's worked so well for us. So I highly recommend this one. Um, I actually got two tan ones for my car because my car seats now are a little bit more on the tanner side. And then I got a black one for Joel to match with his car, uh, with his seats and his car. But they really, really protect the seats, you guys. I don't have a problem with making sure the car seat's secure either. It doesn't jiggle with them on it. Like there's no problem. The car seat is safe and it's put in there really well and it protects the seats. So 
I love those and I love the fact that you can do three different colors so again you could do black tan or gray all right so next up a cute little clothing item that I got is this little zipper onesie from little me I love the fact that they carry little me there it's like one of my favorite little brands for baby clothes and this one is so cute and it's a zipper so the zippers are the way to go they also sell magnetic me there so I have two of those coming into the mail. I'll throw those into a future haul for you guys, but the magnetic me's and zipper onesies, I'm telling you, that's the way to go. I was going through Riley's old clothes <laughs> and boy was I shocked when I found that I did not have that many zipper onesies or magnetic me onesies. A lot of stuff was buttons and two pieces because I always dress this little girl up. <laughs> so I'm like, how did I not have like a ton of onesies, but I'm wondering if I gave some to my sister. So I need to go to her house and pull some from her because I have a feeling I gave her some of mine. So I was like, I feel like I had more than this. But yeah, zipper and Magnetic Me onesies will save you, especially like I, I have, I'm gonna have a toddler and a newborn at the same time. I need to have diaper changes be really quickly, be really, really quick for me. And then also kind of just save your sanity in the middle of the night too, where you're not like half awake and dealing with buttons. So yeah, I thought this was really cute. I'll link that one down below. Okay, so next up I got this little toy for baby girl number two. This was a huge hit amongst Riley and amongst the nephews. So my cousin actually had this for her little girl and they came out here to visit a long time ago and they accidentally forgot it. And the kids were loving it and it's at my mom's house. So my mom was like, oh my God, you have to get one of these for baby girl number two because of how much the kids loved it. So I went ahead and got one for her to have here at the house but they really love it it's a great little sensory toy a little sensory shaker for them all right so last but not least what i picked up from bye bye baby is the duna from car seat to stroller in seconds right here i am so excited for this thing i opted out of it with riley and i really wish i didn't because i wish i could have gotten a lot more use out of it but Honestly, it's gonna make my life so much easier dealing with two, especially with the pickups and the drop-offs at school. And one, I'm not gonna leave the baby in the car. And two, I just don't wanna have to deal with taking a stroller out of the back of the car, bringing it around and then putting in the car seat and then getting Riley, like it's just a lot. This legit, you just pick it up and pop out the wheel, the wheels pop out from underneath it and boom, it's a stroller. Like it just makes it so much easier and I think it's gonna save my sanity. So I picked it up, I got it in black. They have a ton of different colors that you guys can check out. I love the fact that Bye Bye Baby has such a wide variety of stroller options also for every budget too. Same thing with their car seats. Like they've got so many different types of car seats as well. I'm really excited about the Duna. I even went on Instagram and asked you guys, is this thing worth it? And everyone, there was not one person that said it wasn't worth it. Everyone said it's a must have, it will save you, get it. Like everyone told me that so. I'm very, very excited to have it this time around. All right, so to end off this video, I wanna share with you guys some of my must-have products that we already have that are must-haves that I highly recommend. So sticking with the stroller, Up A Baby Vista. I always get this question asked, but I love the Up A Baby Vista, and the reason why it works out so well for us is because it turns into a double stroller. We knew we were gonna have two babies close in age, and so I was like, okay, let's just prepare and already get us ourselves something that turns into a double stroller down the line. And I remember when I discovered Up a, Up a Baby Vista, it was actually at Bye Bye Baby. We were looking at strollers and the employee there that works in the stroller department was so knowledgeable. And he was just showing us, he goes, this is what you want. And he was showing us just how easy it was to collapse and put together and how you can make it a double. And it just sold me. I was like, God, he was so helpful. And yeah, so by far, Up A Baby Vista is like one of my favorites because the fact it turns into that double stroller and you can still use that huge storage compartment down below and the frame is very, very sturdy. So I really, really love that. And they also, I think they even came out with a new one to where the canopy extends even higher, which I wish I had right now because with Riley, with her canopy right now, she's so tall. She's two years old, but she's over 38 inches tall. So she's like the size of like a three, four year old and her head hits the canopy. So now they have an extender on it, which I'm like, dude, this thing is awesome to help. So it doesn't hit their head for the taller babies. Um, but up a baby Vista stroller by far the best. And honestly, if you are having any questions about strollers, go into Bye Bye Baby 
and check them out. Like the people there are so helpful and they just have so many different options and all price ranges too. Same thing for car seats as well. So I would definitely check it out there. Um, if you already know what you want, you can also use their in-store pickup because I know with COVID everything, we were being definitely more cautious about going into stores. So if you already know what you want and uh, Bye Bye Baby carries it near you, you can purchase it online and then just pick it up at the store and they'll just you'll just get it right there. So that is great too. For another newborn must have is the Halo Bassinet. So I'm all about safe sleeping. I'm a big, huge advocate for that. I love the Halo because it's designed so well for safe sleeping. I love that it's got netting all the way around it. So you know there's no way that they can roll and smother themselves. The owner and the creator of Halo actually lost his um, one of his children to SIDS and this is why he created Halo. And I really love just everything behind it. The swivel sleeper is the one that we have. My sister has it right now because she used it for Caspi. So we're picking that back up and bringing it here next week but it is awesome. And I love the new one that they came out with. It has like a little bit more of a flatter feet to it. So it really just slides and fits perfectly in your room. You can adjust it from with the different heights. And it also like the little side thing really collapses down easily. So you can easily grab that baby out and they can just sleep right next to you for safe sleeping. So that's a big recommendation of mine. You can also get uh, I would definitely recommend getting two different sheets with it so that way you always have a backup for if they have a blowout or a spit up and you need to wash one in the middle of the night, boom, you have one as a backup so always have multiple sheets. Another great product from Halo is the Swaddles. I love their fleece swaddles. They are my favorite, so I highly recommend those. We have those in all different sizes. And then also I love the nested bean sacks too. So we use those as well. So you can definitely see what works best for your baby because every baby is different. But we love the swaddles. Do not put any loose blankets, no stuffed animals, nothing in that crib, nothing in that bassinet for the first year of life. Um, it's just, it's safe sleeping. You don't want anything in there and you want them to wear that wearable blanket because there's no chance of them smothering themselves. So those I really, really recommend. Okay, so next up is baby monitors. Baby monitors are a lifesaver. I could not live without them. I have one downstairs for the playroom and I have one upstairs for her bedroom. And I already have a camera ready to, for the next baby because the ones I'm gonna recommend to you, you can actually connect up to four cameras for each of them, which is great. So Bye Bye Baby has a huge wide variety of different baby monitors. My favorite ones are the Vava and the Infant Optics. So they're very, very similar. I like the Infant Optics one more than the Vava one because I like that the fact that it has the buttons on top where you can easily control the volume and everything so you're not digging through the menu. It's just a lot more faster that way. And then it has that ANR feature where it cuts out that white noise in the background and the picture is so clear. Like they really stepped up their game on this monitor. I had the first one and it finally broke just a couple months ago. We had it for a while, but it broke and um, Infant Optics actually sent us the new one and I did a whole review video of it. So if you wanna see another close up look of it, I will have it linked down below for you guys. But you can get both of these at Bye Bye Baby. They are awesome. I recommend both of them. So whatever works for your budget, check them out, but they are awesome. All right, so the next must have is the Docatot. So the Docatot is a lifesaver. It was a lifesaver for us. It was a lifesaver for my sister. This thing is amazing, you guys. They sleep so well in it. <laughs> they sleep so well. You definitely want to get an extra cover again, just in case of any blowouts or spit ups happen. You can easily just put on that new cover and wash the other one. So they they just sleep so well in it. I I, I can't even begin to express like. That one by far is a must have and they have so many cute prints and everything. So definitely check them out. But let me tell you, like I would always carry Riley around the house in it because it also has like little handles. So I would just carry her around the house in it. Um, I would lay her down next to me if I was doing my makeup or whatnot, if I was editing, it was great. So definitely Doc Tot must have for everyone. All right, for a baby carrier. One of my favorite baby carriers for the beginning is the Boppy Comfy Fit Carrier. Again, they have a huge variety of all different wraps and carriers at Bye Bye Baby, which is awesome, but I love the Boppy Comfy Fit. It is the most easiest and comfortable carrier 
like ever in the beginning. And let me tell you, it's so easy to get them in on your own. I love it and I am excited to use it again. The material on it is so nice and soft. They can start going in it at eight pounds, which I wish they could go in it sooner than that. That's like the one down part for me because again, I have small babies. Riley was like six pounds, 15 ounces. And of course they always lose a little bit in the beginning. So it took us a bit to get to that eight pound mark to be able to use it, but it is awesome. So the Boffy Comfy Fit one, by far the biggest one I recommend. When they reach about 15 pounds, that's when you wanna move up to something that's a little bit more, that gives you a little bit more support because then it really kinda of gets you on your back. But those beginning stages, that one by far, hands down. And it's my favorite because it's so easy to use. I never use the wraps because they make me so nervous. I feel like I'm gonna like mess it up and not put it on right and they're gonna slip through. So I love the boppy one because it's just clips, super easy and you tie it around and boom, they're like secure and good to go. So I think they have it in, I have it in the gray color. They also have it in black. So I highly recommend that one. All right, so now for a swing because a swing is a must have, you guys. Like, let me tell you, for your sanity and to be able to do things, get a swing, you need a swing. So the best one is, for, in my opinion, is the Fisher Price one. That one worked out for Riley and it worked out for Caspi and it's worked out for so many other babies that I know of my friends that have kids. It's awesome. Right, I also had the Mamaru and that thing is great too. I know some babies that absolutely love it, but Riley did not like it because Riley wanted to go, I think she wanted to go back and forth if I could recall, and the Mamaru only went from side to side. So she didn't like being rocked that way. And the great thing about the Fisher Price Swing is it does both motions. So it actually goes back and forth or it can go from side to side. So she really enjoyed that backward forward motion the best. So that's why that one worked out the best for us. And it's very reasonably priced. It's amazing. They have all different types of designs and stuff too that you can get. The one that we have is like the snug -a puppy one, but by far, that was the best thing ever. Get a swing and get it early on because I didn't get it until later on and I really regretted it. I was like, wow. This would have made the first month a lot easier. <laughs> All right, so for the last product is a fun little play product that I recommend to everyone. And that is the Fisher Price Kick and Play. Oh my goodness, you guys. I have I have bought this product for so many people. I have recommended it to so many people and they've been like, oh my goodness, this thing is amazing because <laughs> it allows you to get stuff done. But it's this little kick and play thing. And I noticed with Riley, I was like, she really loves to kick. And another thing is she actually even had like a little kink in her neck. A lot of babies are born with kinks just from being smashed in the womb. Um, and this thing was just great for tummy time. It was great for kicking, like for kicking for her. So I picked this thing up and oh my goodness, it was a lifesaver. You can get it in pink or green and it just has this little piano, it even has a little arch above them that they can look at stuff. But this little piano was great for her, for her tummy time because it really allowed her to not fuss too much with it because she wanted to kind of like follow the colors. Um, also what we would do sometimes is like if we wanted her to work out one side of her neck where she had that kink, we would put her on it to where she would look that way and it would help stretch her neck. So that really worked out with us very, it worked out really well for us too there. And then also for kicking, she loved it. So she loved it. Caspi loved it. We had one at my, we still have the one at my mom's house. Like all the kids love it. It's amazing and it gives them, it keeps them entertained for quite a while too so we can get stuff done. All right, so that is the end of the video, you guys. I know it was a long one. Thank you for sticking with me if you guys stuck with me this long, but I really wanted to be very descriptive and give you guys good information of why these products work so well for us and then why I was purchasing some of these newer ones too. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Congrats to all those that are expecting and good luck with your newborns. I can't believe it. This little one is gonna be here very soon and I am so, so excited. But again, a big thank you to Bye Bye Baby for sponsoring this video and working with me again. I absolutely love them. I love their store. I love everything that they carry. So I'm just so grateful. Everything that I talked about in this video is linked down below. So definitely check out those links. Look at these products. I'm telling you, some of these are just, they're, they're like holy grail products that you need to have and they'll make your life so much easier. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will see you all in my next video.